So in the forum, I posted a link listing to a Google template with a spreadsheet. Now, the spreadsheet is to help you with your homework to give you an idea of how we can organize the data, organize the information for financial analysis of a solar energy conversion system. So here we have life cycle cost analysis. It, much of this information is detailed in the textbook. I'm going to click use this template. I will open it up and I'll have my copy of life cycle cost analysis open. And what we're going to see is that my years are in column A and then every other piece of information is in its own separate column. There are no uh, placements of data within the same column. So, I mean, uh, different types of data are in different columns. This is to, So it's a one long page from left to right. It goes, I believe, all the way to R on the other side. But uh, ultimately, what we're looking at is individual columns of data. So I have the year data over here, and I start my year at zero. I don't start my year at one. I started at year zero because t the beginning of the year is effectively time zero when the project begins and then you have to wait one year before you start accruing uh, fuel savings where you start paying mortgage payments for the for that full year and then you've got insurance costs property tax costs if you are a um, uh, for the most case if we are using that in our problem some of our problems we're not using extra property tax and then there's the 30 percent federal income tax savings this is the federal incentive that draws from our interest payments that we are paying in in column J the interest that we're paying on our loan payments I sum B C D E F G or E and F to get a sum on G. You'll see that in year year zero, I've got my down payment, and then in year one, I'm actually showing what is the sum of all of my savings, my fuel savings, in addition to my costs, like my mortgage costs, my insurance costs, property tax costs, and then savings from the federal income tax savings. So I have that. I then need to place that cumulative solar savings for the one year, my annual solar savings, I need to put it into present values. I want to put it in year zero dollars. So 394 becomes 365. And where do I get that? I get that from cell Q2. So let's go over to Q2. And we see that I have a column for the present worth factor for each year, year uh, one, two, three, four. So this actually uh, probably should have been shifted down one unit, but this is for year one. Uh, of course, the present worth of year zero is one. And I'm using a market discount rate in column R. The market discount rate, that's the rate that I can increase by a value, and it will actually drop the, my cumulative solar savings in column I. So if I want to find out about my internal rate of return, all I start, all I need to do is to start increasing that from 8% to say 20%, and you see that going from 8% to 20%, my cumulative solar savings just dropped to $3,000 from $16,000. I can manually keep going back here to say 40%, and at 40%, I have a negative net present value. So I know that it's going to be between 20% and 40%. We guess 30%, and we are pretty close. We can now do some fine tuning to make it a little higher than 30%, maybe 32%. Nope. 30. 1% and you see how I'm zooming in on my potential internal rate of return. Eventually I'm trying to get this guy, this value in blue of my cumulative solar savings to zero and then that will be the internal rate of return uh, that drives, that 
uh, drives our project comparisons. But for right now, our real market discount rate is 8% in this particular solar hot water project. Last things to point out are that um, column I has been our cumulative solar savings. And if I look at column I, I see that I am taking the years prior cumulative solar savings and adding the present worth annual solar savings to that value to get my incremental solar savings. And then you see that this project goes from negative cash flow to positive in year uh, between year five and six. And we can see that in, uh, in the plot right here. Okay. Now, the J, K, L, and M columns are our bank columns. N, O, and P columns are our columns that deal with uh, the annual total energy load in the house for hot water, the solar fraction, that is the fraction of energy provided by the sun uh, for our solar hot water system, that would be 65%, and the fuel rate is going to be uh, 8 cents per kilowatt hour or $80 per megawatt hour. All right. So you see there we have a connectivity between the, the, the solar fraction chart and the plots of paying down the loan and the cash flow uh, being paid off. And if I go to the next tab over, I've got a higher solar fraction here and the plot associated with it. Okay, so that's your tour guide of uh, this little chart. I hope that it helps you and to solve your problems inside of uh, the uh, problem set for homework three.